start with my video on how to make a loyalty bot for your Twitch TV channel. This is for um, this is almost February 1st, 2015. If you didn't know, I made another video about ModBot, but they've since updated and changed versions and completely reconfigured how the program works. It's actually much better, and people have actually been making money off this. There's another project called DeepBot, which does basically the exact same thing, but they make it a little easier for the users to set up. This is a way that you can get your own updated version of ModBot working on your Twitch TV channel for absolutely free. So what you want to do is actually uh, download the sorry the old version of uh, Twitch TV ModBot. If you notice, this version actually is quite old. It's from 2013. You'll go ahead and download the program and then extract it to a folder either on your desktop or like a virtual private server or a VPS. You want to do it on a computer or a machine that's be running as you stream. And this is called ModBot. Then you're going to want to go into this website called um, ModBot WordPress and click on installation. And you're going to want to go ahead and download this um, author's upgrader here. He actually uh, has been took it, taken over the project and upgraded it with quite a lot of new features and it's completely different. But the setup is a little bit complicated and can be advanced for new people so I'm going to walk you guys through it. So you'll go ahead and download his file here. I already downloaded it and extract it in the same folder of your ModBot. So you downloaded this and this and you have it all in the same folder. It's called ModBot Updater. I've run them for viruses. They don't have any viruses or whatnot. It will run through and it will say you need to update your um, ModBot. I already actually already updated it. So you'll click on update ModBot. It will go through, download and update, put a whole bunch of new folders in there. And you can also have extensions. He's added some extensions like auctions, easter eggs, polls, uptime, gambling, etc. And you can download these by clicking on download and adding more things to ModBot. So if you want something you just click on download and it will add itself to an extension. So once you have it downloaded it will say download it. For instance, successfully download it. See, successfully download it. So get it. I downloaded all of them because I just wanted all of them. So I went ahead and added all of them. And then all, you can check for updates again. You'll be up to date. And then once you're done launching, you should actually just close the program. And then launch your ModBot tool. You'll notice it's much different looking than before. And I'm uh, showing this on my uh, virtual machine just because it's the simplest way to do it. It's going to load all the add-ons I allowed and it's a completely different layout. It's going to look different and the setup is different. So the first thing you'll notice is you can't type in bot or channel. It doesn't much matter here. He does have options to generate a bot token and channel token and to set your currencies. But the first thing you really want to do is you're going to want to actually log in or create a second account for your bot name. For example, I have my loyalty bot, I'm going to call it Curlbot. So I have a, a Twitch TV account that with a verified email called Curlbot. And then I have my main account I'm making the video on on uh, here. So I have my main account and I have my bot account. So you need to have two accounts on Twitch TV. You can create a second account, make sure you verify it. You can call your loyalty bot whatever you want to call it. It doesn't really make much of a difference. But you're going to want to have you have to have two accounts. So the first thing you need to do is you need to set your bot access token. So in order to do that, you're going to basically want to log into, uh, I use for example, um, Google Chrome with um, incognito window so I can be logged into two accounts. So I'm logged into this curlbot. You want to actually go to their troubleshooting page. And uh, I don't. he's supposed to be able to run it through his program, but it didn't really work quite well for me. So what you want to do is go to these links here on the troubleshooting page. He says use this link for the bot token. So I'm logged into my bot account here and I'm going to click on this link here for the bot token. You'll notice I'll get a token address as I'm logged into Twitch here. This is my token. See where it says equals all the way to Anscope. Don't copy Anscope and chat log. This is what you want. It's going to gener generate random numbers and letters for you to use. Every time you click on this it will generate a new token. You only need to do this one time. I'm just showing you in the video. I'm going to obviously change it in case someone tries to you know, use this, but for yourself. So you only need to do this. You'll go ahead and copy this here. This is now your bot access token. So I've, got, I've gone ahead and inputted that here, bot access token. And then again on my channel token, because this is my main channel, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to his troubleshooting and I'm going to use that's to see, use this link for the bot token, use this link for the channel. So I click on this link again and I'm going to get a whole different code. Again, it's the same area from token to here. Whatever it randomly generates is what you're going to use. Your code will not be the same as mine. It will not be the same. 
So I went and input it my channel token and my bot token here. Once you have that set up, you want to go ahead and set what you want your points to be. Points, coins, whatever. Just for for simplicity of the video, I'm going to go ahead and call this points. And we'll go ahead and give it a command and we'll call it points. You can call it points, curls, the loyalty bot, you know. This is what people use to add on uh, like fake currency to for you know showing that they're saying your channel being loyal. So you can start people with X amount of coins. You can set it to one as they join, ten, you know, whatever number you feel comfortable with. This is a payout interval. So every one minute they'll get five coins from me. But you can set it to whatever you want. Every five minutes they'll get ten coins. You know, every you know ten minutes they'll get five coins. Whatever you want it to be. Whatever your heart desires. I think uh, you should pay out. I mean, every I would say every five minutes is good. But just for this video to show that it works, I'm gonna set it to every one minute, and we'll have it pay out five points. And you can give subscribers additional points. So if they're a subscriber, they get you know 100 points for being subscribed to your channel. This is for people with uh, subscription buttons. So this is a great tool to use. They also allow you to use uh, MySQL database to store the points on. This is kind of advanced for most people. I don't really see a lot of people using this because I know most people will be running it either from a VM or their own personal computer they stream on or a VPS. Regardless, you want to use a Google spreadsheet here for uh, your regulars and this will save their points so what you want to do is uh, again I loaded a Google Doc here uh, go to Google Docs go to spreadsheets I called it twitch loyalty bot and then you just give it a name called username the same as before and then what you want to do is share this you need to share it to make sure it's public so you call it username one here you're gonna go ahead and uh, click on advanced in the bottom and then who has access hit change you want to make it public to anyone on the web hit save I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and I've already have a, a doc set up for this that I've mentioned with my old video on how you string it these are just all the different spreadsheets I've been making over it so this is my code right here from edit to the D I'm gonna go ahead and copy this from the D copy this into the string from list into OD6 so your spreadsheet link will be different than mine you have a different these are all the different spreadsheets I've created you'll put the link here and you'll copy and paste this string into your sub spreadsheet optional so this is a uh, leave blank for local storage it will store locally anyways this is just for your subscribers for it to store in this spreadsheet it will store regardless on your modbot folder so if you wherever you set this up it will store you don't have to worry about it unless you want to set this up you'd be a pretty advanced user to do so so once you have all that set up I have my spreadsheet put in I have my currency set up, the access tokens. You're going to go ahead and click on connect. And your best bet is to kind of look at the uh, the string here. And then notice I, I connect it right away. I got right in. If you run into any errors, it will tell you. It will say token has not been validated or it doesn't work. If you run into any issues where it says bot token is not validated, don't, like I said, don't click on these. These seem to not work correctly. It's supposed to do it for you, but it tends to not work correctly. And if it doesn't work right, you need to install. Um, he basically has you install his his code. If you look at your Twitch channel, what it basically does, he installs his API. It hooks into your settings to connect to his program. So you want to make sure you um, click on your connections that you have his API connected on both your accounts. So if you're ever curious about it, it's called Modbot Client under other connections here. You want to make sure this is connected. So if this is not connected that's probably why your bot access token doesn't work and you can always go back to that web the troubleshooting web page and get a new token so every time you do that if you change your token you can do that you only have to do the token one time guys you don't have to do it every single day once you have your token you're set and again the token is copy and paste from scope if you ever get a fail it's probably because you copied the and scope here don't copy after the and sign guys it's not needed it will not connect but once you're connected, you'll notice the program opens up all the options for you. So I'm connected. It says settings configured. You'll notice I can go into my channel, and I can uh, I can change, I can update my title. It will pull my title. I can update it from here. I can add my Steam ID. I can message you know every five minutes say hey, make sure to follow the channel to get me more followers. I can welcome give people a welcome message with I don't have a subscription button. But for people who do that, they can get that and allow them rewards to give them gold automatically when they come in. The user option, you can get, decide who gets points in your stream. 
set it to whatever you want. Uh, you can set up donations as well that you can track through this with client ID, token ID, channel. This is all pretty. If you're using Steam Tip, Twitch Alerts, Donation Tracker, and just set the token. That's really simple to do. There's links how to set it up here. You can set up spam filters, and the most important thing is you want is your giveaway title. So you can set up by uh, active users, by keywords or tickets, and and have it cost X amount. You can ban certain people from allowing to enter your giveaways. You can make sure that it must be a follower and they have to watch X amount of time. And then you can do a start giveaway. When a giveaway is kicked off, you'll notice that it will come inside. See my curl bot? He's a moderator. Also, if you're having issues, make sure that your, your bot is a moderator in your channel. You can do that by clicking on them, logged in as yourself, and OP users. Or you can always type in your chat, slash mod, and then the bot name. Whatever you named your bot, and it will make it a moderator. So you want it to be a moderator. So I was I was mad because I this is my second try in this video. I made this video before and I, and I didn't uh, save save it. So I was really mad that I couldn't get it to work. But uh, it is what it is. So you have the giveaway options. If you scroll down, you have examples and about. The about tells you all the different people using the program. It's a pretty simple program to use. The hardest thing I really think is again is setting it up. Just getting it set up the first time. You notice that when it's set up correctly, see it calls the bot name and the channel name. You can double check to make sure it's okay. Let's go in and check to see if it's working correctly. So I'm here. So I'm going to go ahead and type points and then see if it's working. So it'll take like a minute or two for it to talk back, but it will tell me how many points I have. See, I've been viewing it for eight minutes and I have unlimited points because I'm the caster. But if we go to my other account that's logged in, the, the curl bot here, if we go to my channel and then check points, he will be getting points. So all people who come to your channel will be collecting points and the point system does work. This is just a new version of the point system. DeepBot basically does the exact same thing as this. This is very similar to DeepBot, but it doesn't cost $10. So again, I'm going to check my points under CurlBot and it will come up. You'll also notice it will come up over here. See, he has 45 points. You see the little bit of delay from Twitch to that? So he's been gathering points. He's been, uh, I've been on the channel for a few minutes and I'm getting points. Seven minutes, I have 45 points. You can use it to do your giveaways. Like I said, just having this accessible, even like on another uh, on another screen or whatnot. I am running this in a, a virtual box, so you can run it on a virtual box. You can run it off your desktop. You can run it on a, a VPS, you know, whatever. And you can just make uh, changes in how you want it. Call your currency what you want it. Set up commands. Give people incentive for payouts. This is great for like giveaways. You know, getting people to stay in your channel. And allowing them to do stuff. It doesn't have uh, the bank heist like the DeepBot has, but again, for a free version of software, this is like the latest and greatest version, and it offers a whole bunch of different great tools that you can set up and customize on how you want to use for your channel. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in uh, the box below on this YouTube video, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. And good luck on your streams, and keep on growing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share my videos. I will see you guys next time.